Well, I always had a, a small garden. Mm -hmm. I started raising some blueberries. I'd put about 25 in, I think. No, it was about 10 that I bought back from the Gulf. And I just kept adding more and more to it. Now I got up to about 150, but that's more than what I need to take care of. Yeah, so you yeah. have 150 blueberry bushes, and you mentioned you have several gardens scattered all around. Right, and the blueberries, I, I started going to the market joined in Scottsville, mm -hmm. Allen County, and the guys there says, well, do, do you have anything else you could sell and stuff in your garden? I said, yeah, I got a few things. So after that year, I just started putting more gardens in, and I, I even do the drip system and everything, and just kept growing and growing. Now I've got more than I can take care of. <laughs> I love it though. So tell me about all the things that you raise. Mostly ve it's vegetables. Okay. And so you have blueberries, blueberries you mentioned. Blueberries. Uh, strawberries, you mentioned. Strawberries. I've got the high tunnel there now. Tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Just vegetables. Beans, a lot of beans. It's hard work picking beans, bending over, but I like them. <laughs> beans and so onions. Watermelons, squash, zucchini, you name it, just about any kind of vegetable. And I try to plant, I try to plant some stuff early and then here later for, for fall and stuff, you know. To kind of extend that market season out. Yeah, yeah. Now you also mentioned not only do you have all this assortment of fruits and vegetables, but your wife actually bakes. Yes, she bakes. She does the baking. She does uh, sourdough breads. Uh, mm -hmm. Hot, up, hot pies, I'm not going to say just apple, she does all kinds, strawberry, peach, she's done pineapple, I don't know what all. She does banana breads, zucchini breads, sometimes she puts blueberry in them and other, she's actually put the pineapple in them before. All kinds of sweet treats. Yeah. Now, is that, is that available at the farmer's market when you go as well? Yes, available at the farmer's market and we do uh, Lakeberry Farm, we do... Um, Soaky Market in Bowling Green, mm -hmm. and we also do Glasgow on the Square Bounty of the Barrens. Uh -huh. I go there and usually send her to Soaky Market. And most of the time I do Thursdays in uh, Allen County on the Square. Yeah, so, so you can find you at a lot of different places. Yeah. Now, we're here today to talk about sweet potatoes, to kind of highlight sweet potatoes. And yeah. you have over 500? I believe it's between four and 500 I got. And so why do you raise sweet potatoes? I do, it's another vegetable to grow. You know, we like, we like the sweet potatoes. I usually grow the Bogard, and this year I added another kind, the old Hendry. Uh -huh. We'll try it. And people like the sweet potatoes at the markets and stuff, you know, and they actually want different varieties, I, I figured out last year. So that's why I'm trying the old Hendry, see how it does, you know. So walk me through the process about planting sweet potatoes. When do you usually have to get those out and when will they be ready? Well, I was actually really late getting mine in this year. Yeah, we had a really wet season yeah. to start out. So a lot of our plantings were a little bit later. Then it got dry on me. I lost a few on mm -hmm. them, but I replanted them, so. Yeah. So See when will I, your sweet potatoes be ready for harvest? I'm hoping by the 1st of October. I'm, I hope that yeah. they're ready. I check my calendar. And the great thing about sweet potatoes is once you harvest them, they're a cool storage crop, so they last quite yes. a bit. I can keep a lot of my crops. Sweet potatoes and my winter squash, zucchini, and butternuts and stuff. And a lot of the, all of it, when it, I can keep them up underneath my deck down here, which is about my height. As long as I keep them off the ground and they get air through there, I can store them. Yeah. Onions, bean, or potatoes, everything. Then once it starts freezing too hard, I move them under my house and I keep them up into the winter. And so people, consumers can do that at home as well. So if they yeah. wanted, a, if they really like sweet potatoes, they could buy several from you at one time. And as long as they kept them in a cool, dark yeah. location, they would keep for. They'll five keep in your refrigerator, your you know, with your drawers in the bottom, they'll keep in there for quite a while too. Yeah. So how can people find you? Do you have a website or a Facebook page? I do have a Lakeberry Farm or just on Facebook. Okay. They can find me um, and give me a message that way. So you mentioned you started out as a hobby and it's grown into a full-time job. Why do you farm? I love it. It's a hobby. <laughs> I just, it keeps me busy. I'm retired, you uh -huh. know, but I'm at the point I've, I've grown too much. I'm too big. I mean, for one guy to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I just love it. And we love going to the markets. 
talking to everybody. I, you can tell I like to talk. <laughs> the wife says I do. You like visiting with your customers and hearing, though, how much they love yeah. your product and come back each and every week to do that. You, you hear some real interesting stories. You get a lot of recipe ideas that way, too. <laughs> This is already sold, so. Uh oh. Well, what if I want it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>